channel so for today's video i am back with a brand new vlog got a few things going on today i've got a new sofa coming i sort of did my hair with my dyson air wrap for you guys like a little tutorial had some dinner and just sort of chilled out for the night so yeah. i took you guys along with me and i really hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do please make sure to smash a big thumbs up for me subscribe if you're new don't forget to turn my post notification bell on so you don't miss any of the videos Follow me on Instagram, I'll put it on the screen here. Ping. And without further ado, let's get into the vlog. So guys, our sofa has just arrived. It is huge. <laughs> but yeah, we're really excited because we've literally been um, sitting on this sofa bed for ages. Um, I've got to be careful with like what I show you because obviously the apartment tour is not out yet. But I thought we'd show you the sofa. I'm going to be doing a little vlog today. Um, I'm going to be washing my hair and use my air wrap. So I thought rather than doing a whole video, I thought I could show you guys how I use my air wrap, just a little section in this vlog, a little get ready with me. So, we've got the big corner piece, then we've got the two piece, another two piece, and the footstool. So, yeah, let's get cracking. Well, Brandon's gonna get cracking, and he's got a sore wrist, so. Literally, I can't really like lift stuff. Luckily, it's all in it. Yeah, yeah. literally got um, these legs. Thanks, well. aeroplane. <laughs> um, and they literally just screw it's on well easy. Like. <laughs> We've got all, right. all of this stuff, guys, that's come from underneath our bed. But we're getting a new bed, so it's having to stay in here until our new bed comes Behind so we can sofa. put um, our awesome storage up and put that all in there. Do you know how big that corner is? It's a nice colour, though. It's, a, it's actually better than what I thought on the pictures, and I bought it based off the pictures, so I'm really happy. Right, right guys, we're going to put the long first piece here and then we've got the other long piece there and then we've got the footstool as well so piece is it then? let's go boys what i was going to say was when we had our ikea so far it was honestly an absolute nightmare to build i mean i guess like with ikea obviously everything you have to build so we had to put like all these covers on and it we was a nightmare we had to get like, um, side panel yeah we had to get like, imagine this was the side panel we had to build that bit yeah we had to get brandon's auntie over to build it for us so this seems pretty easy, but I'm just thinking like, this is huge, like where's it gonna go? We might have to end up getting rid of this, try not to show you too much guys, but. Brandon's got the nail stuck inside the, the foot. The screw, I put it in the hole, and obviously it's a, it's a whole hollow surface, and now I've got to get it down straight oh to get it back out. God. So we've got a slight situation guys, the uh, the sofa is a little bit big, so all this has come from underneath the bed, so that's going to go back under the bed, but I mean, we're not quite sure what's going to happen just yet, but we'll get back to you when we sorted it guys. Okay, so ignore the stuff down the side of here because this is, as I said, all going under the bed, but the sofa is absolutely humongous. Here we didn't measure it very well, um, no, I can lay on this here and not even touch Brannon. It's just a deep sofa. And the TV unit looks so awkward. So we're in the middle of like fixing this. Um, <laughs> There's sort of no going back with the sofa. We're not really sure what we're going to do. It's a lovely sofa. Guys. I'm happy with it. And then, I love the sofa, but... And then we've got this footstool that we have no idea where it's going to go. I've literally got no idea where we're going to put it, guys. It just looks ridiculous. It's huge. So, guys, we have basically finished the sofa now. Um... I would show you like the complete finished result, but I'm going to wait until the house tour, which will be out next week. Um, but I'm going to have a shower now and wash my hair because I literally haven't got ready today yet because we've been up really early since just organising some bits and I get really sweaty and stuff. So I don't want to shower and then have to shower again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to film a couple of TikToks. I'm going to film a Dyson Airwrap um, one and I'm going to also film a like how I care for my extensions because I didn't want to do like a whole YouTube video on it because I feel like it would bore you. Um, so I'm just going to do a TikTok on it. Um, so if anyone that wants to know how I look after my extensions, head over to TikTok, it will be over there. Yeah, I'm going to film a TikTok on my air wrap. I'm also going to do a more in-depth one in the vlog today for you guys because I've had so many questions on it. It literally gives my hair the nicest bouncy blow dry ever and I'm literally obsessed with it. Also, I wanted to talk about this cream really quick while I'm in here. It is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E. It's this one so this is a massage lotion and it's so good for my stretch marks um now i'm not embarrassed of my stretch marks and you guys shouldn't be embarrassed of your stretch marks either but i know sometimes they can get annoying and 
I like to get rid of the ones on my boobs if I can and obviously that's just personal preference like I'm not encouraging you guys to go and get this I'm just saying like if any of you want to try and reduce them a little bit this is really good but I do get them quite bad on my boobs and I want to try and reduce them a little bit so I have been using this and it's really really good it's actually reduced them a lot so if you are looking for a stretch match cream this one's really good it's got collagen elastin argan oil and chia butter in it so yeah it's really really good but I'm just about to go and get my phone it's been on charge because it is dead and yeah I'm gonna have a shower the shower in the new flat is so much more powerful than the one downstairs so i'm so happy about that so yeah i'm gonna have a shower and i'll come back to you guys and then the next clip you'll see is probably me using my air okay so i've just finished out the shower i'm sort of like trying to film like two tiktoks and update the vlog all at the same time but i've washed um my hair and i'm just about to use my air wrap so i use the got to be heat protectant and i use the argan oil I think it's got a brand called Haas, um, repairing hair oil, basically. And I put two pumps of that all from my extensions. And then I brush it through with the wet brush. And it literally just glides. My hair extensions are just like so soft. Like I don't even need to brush them. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm just about to use my air wrap. Okay, so I'm going to sit back a little bit. So this is what you get. It comes in like a tan coloured case. It's really nice. And then you open it up and you get all the pieces inside. I've currently plugged in the actual um thing and then i'll show you the different attachments so it comes with i've got the long one by the way so it comes with the hair dryer attachment you get two smoothing brushes to be honest i'm not really sure what the difference is between the two they're pretty much the same but these are really good for like smoothing and straightening your hair this is what i'm going to be showing you guys today because i'm not actually going to be curling it i'm just straightening it because i'm just obviously getting ready to go to bed and then you get the four curling attachments. You get two thin ones and two thick ones. I've only actually used the thin ones yet. I haven't used the thick ones, but I'm definitely going to use them soon. So the reason you get two is because they're for two different sides of your hair. So one obviously curls out that way and one obviously curls out that way. And then you also get like a round brush, which I use to do my like front bang. It is obviously very pricey. I think I paid 450 for mine, but it is absolutely amazing. It's amazing for extensions. Um, because there is less heat it's amazing for hair in general to be honest because there is obviously less heat it's really good for if you want to get like a quick hairstyle basically so you can literally dry it and curl it in one um but yeah so i'm going to be using obviously these ones today so to straighten my hair i obviously use the hair dryer attachment and then i use the smoothing brush and then i do this to do my bangs so they're the three attachments i'm going to leave out for now honestly i'm very impressed i've only used it like two or three times so far i think um and yeah i literally love it so you get the thing and then you get the hair dryer attachment and there's a little button at the back um and you just clip it on like that they're super easy to click on really powerful but you'll notice when you use it on your hair that it's not very hot it's obviously meant to be like that because um i think it's more like just powerful than the heat but it literally takes the same amount of time to dry and i think that's as well why my hair extensions are still in such good condition because there is less heat on them but yeah obviously i use a heat protectant anyway because there obviously is still a little bit of heat but i'm gonna dry basically my hair 90 percent and then i'm gonna dry the last 10 percent of my hair with the smoothing brush to keep it nice smooth and straight so yeah i'm just gonna blow dry it i don't section it or anything because i just i'm lazy can't be able to do that um so yeah i'm just gonna dry it i'm gonna time lapse you guys and then i'll come back to you when i do the smoothing i saw the city passing by my window was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me your eyes Okay so I'd say I've dried like 90% of the roots And then I often um Sorry, I'm trying not to get too much of the apartment in. Um, and then I often dry the ends with the smoothing brush. And then sometimes I go back to the hairdryer attachment at the end. So I'm just going to brush through my hair again. Um, so yeah, all up here is basically dry. It's just sort of the ends um, that I will dry with the smoothing brush. As I said, I have no idea what the difference is between the two. But I just use the one with the bubbles on the end. I'm going to change the attachment and pop this one on. And yeah, basically, I go up under there like that. Just keep going through like that. And then sometimes I go like that. Just do a bit of everything. So I'll just time lapse me using this. They glowed and filled me up. We had never met before that time. But I just knew that we'd end up. So I've 
put studio cream on my chin now because it's really sore but as you can see my hair is fully dried honestly it was so quick now i'm gonna do these bits so these are my bangs that i actually regret getting like i just feel like they don't suit me very well um but for, for my bangs i actually use this round brush so i'm just gonna change the attachment pop this round brush on and to be honest i just sort of try and show you I just sort of grab it under here and just basically twist and spin it and then I just let it drop and then it just sits nicely so I'm gonna do this now okay and then I unroll it and then look how nice it sits it literally sits so nicely even though i just feel like bangs just don't suit me at all but yeah that is how i use my air wrap honestly the quickest thing ever like i don't even need to straighten my hair look how dead straight it is also this is not an ad or gifted by the way like i paid for this for my own money i'm not being paid to say this but literally just from using the smoothing brush my hair is dead straight honestly it's amazing and yeah it's just so speedy to use and i just absolutely love it like the only thing i would say is it's going to be hard to travel with because it's so heavy like it's in such a heavy case but i suppose you could get like a smaller sorry i love how i'm just on camera just like with my suit cream on um but you could definitely just get a smaller case and travel with other travel with it i suppose but yeah, I'm going to pop all my little compartments back in. So yeah, that is basically how I do my hair. And then I finish off with a little bit of oil just to make it nice and shiny. So I just uploaded a TikTok, guys, um, on basically how to care for your hair extensions and make them last longer. So if anyone wants to check that out, um, it's over on my TikTok, which is just Erin Bowie underscore. If you want to go and follow me on there, go and follow me on there. Um, I'm uploading so much more on TikTok lately and posting loads of like beauty videos and all of that jazz. So if you want to go and see like i put my skincare routine and stuff on there so if you want to go and see that then um make sure you do um so yeah i think that's it for tonight i need to make some dinner brian what do you want for dinner what do you want for dinner don't mind i can make casserole but i've got no mash The heaters? Yeah, just covering my chin in um, pseudocreme because I'm currently on my period and um, my skin's awful. But anyway, I'm flashing low battery, so I'll catch up with you guys once we've decided on dinner. Right, so Brandon is making dinner. I think we're having for heaters tonight. This is as far as Brandon's cooking goes. Perry sorted chips. Perry sorted chips. With chicken for heaters. With chicken for heaters. We literally don't have any. We don't have peppers or anything. This is literally how basic we are. Yeah, we're gonna eat dinner on the coffee table tonight for some reason. Brandon's also got some rice. So yeah, let's eat. Also guys, I thought while I'm vlogging today, I thought I'd show you <clears throat> this, I mean it's really random, don't get me wrong. Um, but I spoke about this on my story the other day and I'm literally obsessed with it. So it's from Home Bargains and it's basically a body scrub. Um, it is from Home Bargains, can't really remember how much it was. Um, but it is the from the Dead Sea collection, it's the lavender one. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? She's done a workout and she looks awful apparently. Look at her guys. Pepper. She sleeps all day. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, let me just put you here. So it's this um, scrub from Home Bargains. It is the Dead Sea Collection Lavender Reviving and Calming Mineral Salt Scrub. I've never used a scrub that is so soft in my life. Literally, my body, after I used this, was literally insane. You need to go and try this. Go and try it. It's honestly insane. I know they do a coconut one. I think they do like a shea butter one i think but i picked up the lavender one and it smells really nice and yeah it's like honestly it's like bathing in oil but you don't feel breezy and it's literally like so i'm washing my hands now because i've touched the outside of it and it's oily um but yeah honestly the best body scrub i've ever used i haven't used it actually to get my fake tan off yet um so i will try that and let you guys know but just for like a general body scrub best one i've ever used go and try it let me know. Mate, it's the first time I played it today. Team of the Year's come out. What Gotta get some packs. What's Team of the Year? Like, the Team of the Year. Oh, why is my hair? Oh, mate, it's so... Good. The Team of the Year is, like, all the best players for, like, the year. They put, like... Oh, okay, sorry, I'm bored. Yeah, all right, Joking. Guys, it's a joke. Mar uh, Marcus Rashford, guys. No, <laughs> no, literally no one cares. <laughs> 
I'm gonna do my tanning routine on my face for tonight. So I'm gonna try this. This is the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Sleep Mask. This is part of their new range. <coughs> that they kindly sent to me. I normally use the Tanologist face drops mixed in with moisturiser, but I thought I'd give this a go and see what it comes out like. So it's literally clear, so I'm assuming it just develops overnight. So I'm gonna pop Who's some it gonna be? It. I'm gonna skip it. Come on. Oh, it's awful. I'm just gonna pop that much on my face. Oh my God, it's freezing. Okay, so it's like quite thick, but I suppose it's a mask, isn't it? I literally need my brows done so badly. They're tragic. I would say I'd update you guys in the morning, but I'm editing this vlog tonight. So I'll update you guys on my Instagram. So if you want to know what this is like in the morning, then make sure you follow my Instagram. House tour is coming out next week. I've got a lot of organising to do in my makeup drawer. I'm not sure we're ready to see this. No. What is the state of that? So I can't believe I just showed you that. I've got a lot of organising to do in my drawers. So I'm probably going to do that for like a whole video. If you guys want to see that. Yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm literally flashing red anyway. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you are new and don't forget to turn my post notification bell on if you don't miss any of the videos. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next Wednesday at 6pm with a brand new video. Bye!